Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video talking about um, six negative aspects of being a CNA and I just like wrote them down so um, I could have a list to go off of to make things easier and that's a call light so I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so number one would be being mandated, otherwise known as mandation. I absolutely hated this part of CNA work. Um, not to say that I didn't love or don't love um, caring for patients and interacting with my patients and their families, but when you have already worked eight hours and your relief doesn't show up for whatever reason that they don't show up and then they mandate you to stay, meaning the facility, um, some facilities do this, not all, um, they can force you to stay and if you choose to not stay then they can write you up and you can actually be fired over that which I think is stupid because especially if somebody has a family where they care for you know um, a loved one who has medical issues I don't think it's fair to force someone to stay when they've already worked their eight hours um, the facility that I work at right now does not mandate like you literally the longest you have to stay is 10 minutes past the end of your shift um, another thing that I don't like is VTO or being put on call VTO is a voluntary time off um, being put on call is like a low census which you really have no control over and I understand it but it's a little annoying when you need money and you're being put on call or you're VTO'd um, because the census is not high enough or in the case of the place where I work right now they tend to over schedule especially on the weekends because they figure that people are gonna call off and when they don't call off then everybody shows up and somebody has to go home sometimes multiple people lately um, because they just keep hiring people for the shifts that they don't need them on um, which is really annoying because um, you know if I was to work at like Target or you know something like that I would be working on the days that I'm scheduled and guaranteed to make that money so it's a little frustrating when you need money for bills and all this other stuff um, another one of my pet peeves or negative aspects of being a CNA is working short-staffed. Um, this is like everywhere you go. There are going to be days when you are working very short-staffed. There's days when you will see, um, especially in the nursing homes that I've worked in, you'll see people who are not CNAs being pulled to do CNA work. Um, you'll see nurses helping out. You'll see administration helping out at different times, um, especially when state's there, uh, doing like their state survey and all that. Um, it just really sucks because it puts a lot of stress on the people who do show up and who are very consistent and don't call off. Like, I have never called off since I started this job. Granted, I've only been here for a month, but I have never called off. I've never been late, and I just want to keep that up with this job I don't want to end up in the hospital or something like that and I think that's one of the reasons why um, working short-staffed I ended up getting like really sick because I got so burnt out from working so many hours um, that it was just it was ridiculous um, another negative point of CNA work is condescending nurses and I just can't stand it because I'm a person just like you are you know I I bend over backwards for these patients just like you do you know half the time I'm bending over backwards for you you know to help you get your work done um, in an efficient uh, manner and you know I really do go the extra mile to help my nurses out so that they can have a good shift and so it's a little annoying when you have the nurses who are just condescending and act like you know you don't have that RN or LPN behind your name so because I'm just a CNA then apparently I'm not good enough and I'm not a human being you know and I don't deserve to be respected when 
you know, I'm your eyes and ears. I'm telling you if something's wrong with the patient. And so, you know, you should be grateful. You shouldn't be condescending to your CNAs. Um, another really negative point of being a CNA is being beat up by patients, being not only just physically attacked, but also verbally attacked a lot. Um, because, because of the fact that we are constantly in the room and we're constantly helping them, they feel the need to attack us when they're frustrated, which I kind of understand, you know, they're in pain, they're not feeling well, but at the same time, I did not ask to be physically assaulted. I did not ask to be verbally abused. You know, it just, it sucks. Um, and especially when you work in like memory care setting and things like that, or with psych patients, you're gonna have a lot more combativeness. Um, in the nursing home, you're gonna encounter combative residents, combative patients. Um, you know, it's, it's just a lot. And you have to be able to defend yourself in a way that is not going to hurt the, the patient, in a way that is going to bring the most minimal levels of harm to your patient. Um, and then the last one is no help. You know, when, like where I work now, on this unit that I'm on right now, it, at nighttime from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., it's just one CNA and one nurse. And so there's no help. Like if the nurse doesn't feel like helping, then I'm screwed because you know, there's people over here who you need sometimes more than two people to help turn them. And if I am not going to be able to safely do it by myself, I will not do it. And I will pass it on to the next shift that, hey, listen, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't do this because, you know, I couldn't get any help. And I will actually stay over to help them do whatever it is that I wasn't able to do. But, um, it's just frustrating when you're trying to um, get everything done and you have no help. So yeah, those are basically the main points of um, the negative reasons why or the negative things about being a CNA, the things that I hate about being a CNA. Um, if you are a CNA or a nurse or you know you Maybe you're a resident assistant or somehow else involved in the healthcare industry. Let me know if you've encountered any anything that you think sucks about you know being a CNA, being a nurse. Um, however, you're involved in patient care, and let me know your thoughts. Do you agree with my points? Do you feel okay with some of the things that I brought up? You know, would it not really be a, a major issue for you? Um, like I said, let me know. I'm curious to see how other people who work in the healthcare field feel about these things. So, with that being said, that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if there's any other topics you would like to hear me talk about. And I will talk to you guys again in a couple of days.